Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny. So if you've been following the news this week, but you know there's been a lot of announcements around changes with regards to AI. And this week was Google I.O. And Google made a lot of announcements at Google I.O. And as someone who has used like Google AI Studio, I decided to like take a sneak peek in terms of all the changes that have happened. And guys, I think that Google killed it, okay? I think Google killed it with all the changes that are coming to um, the Google AI studio. So the first one has to do with like the fact that you're able to sort of now generate apps with Gemini 2.5 uh, Pro Code Assistance. So if you've used no code tools like Lovable, Leplex, then you probably want to try this out. And I actually have a tutorial coming up on how you can also build like your own apps and um, even with little like AI knowledge, okay? Your last night, I was just testing this out. I just wanted to see how I can leverage Google AI Studio to build an app. Yeah, I just entered like just a few prompts and I was able to create an app and it was it was pretty neat. It was really pretty neat. And like I said, this I find this to be very useful if you don't have even any technical knowledge okay it makes life a little more easier it helps with prototyping now you're able to prototype faster i like the fact that sometimes if you have errors it would actually show you where the errors are and also show you how you can correct the error sometimes it actually even corrects the errors for you which i think is really good and the other thing is you're able to also deploy it to cloud if you don't want it to be like a local app and you want to scale it you can also deploy it to the cloud so i think it's really good it's a good place to start i do understand that if you want to sort of like commercialize let's say an application then you want to make sure that you want someone who is technical to have like some foresight on it you want to check some more like do some more due diligence around security and all that but i think it's really cool the other thing that came up as well was the fact that now you're able to build conversational agents with a live api and tool so for instance if i come back into this place there's now like a live audio to audio dialogue. Let's try it out. Let's say I want to build, um, I want to create like a faceless podcast. Okay, I want to use avatars. Right on the back, you are able to select um, whether you want like a single speaker or double speaker. So if I go with, let's say, multi audio speaker, um, all you have to do is like you just have to put in the script in here and it would sort of like Jimmy's the scripts here for you are based on like the various speakers and you're able to also select the various like voices so you can change the voice uh, the tone and everything from this uh, place which I think is also pretty neat uh, so for instance I'm just gonna go with this default um, scripting here and I'm just gonna run it and let's see what we get hello we're excited to show you our native speech capabilities where you can direct a voice create realistic dialogue and so much more. Edit these placeholders to get started. Yeah, so you can just use like a single speaker audio as well. I think it's pretty neat. I think it's pretty neat. Now, um, the other thing that also happened is the fact that now you're able to also integrate open source tools with their needed SDK supports for NCP definitions. If you don't know what NCP is, um, I'll just encourage you to watch my last video. I did a tutorial on what NCP is. I also did the tutorial on how you can integrate MCP in M810. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that as well on the screen so that you can go check it out. I noticed there's being like some really cool changes with regards to like generating media and I tried it out as well so for instance if you want to sort of generate like high quality images across different aspect ratios you're able to do so for instance I have this prompt in here and I just want to generate like a 3D image of let's say a beautiful African American female avatar with braids and like a ponytail dress beautifully walking in a park I'm just gonna appeal this let's see what I get let's say I want and, um, this is gonna go on YouTube, right? So let's say I want something like this. I'm just gonna click on the aspect ratio. I'm not sure this was there when I was doing my last tutorial. Um, I'm not sure this was there when I was in my last tutorial. But now you're able to like select the aspect ratio and everything. So that's that's pretty neat. So it's pretty neat, you know. And yes, we're able to select like the number of uh, images you wanna have. Okay. So for instance, if I wanna select two images, you can have it in there. And all this is free. Okay. I'm able to do this for free as well. Well. And let's say I just want to generate like a different scene as well. So let's see, um, uh, let's say uh, sitting in a sofa or something like that. Okay, so I'm generating my different scene. I click on run. Let's see what I get. 
yeah this is pretty cool this is pretty neat as well i i like this so yeah so this is cool i'd encourage you to try it out as well and the good thing is you're able to also save this to google guy so which is pretty neat um the other changes i also noticed uh really i don't think this is a change but um if you come into janet's media and you go to let's say view and the last time i'm not pretty sure if i was able to like upload my own image and add a prompt to it but this time around it looks like this is now possible so if i come in here and i for instance i go into google ai studio and i just select um let's say an image in here so for instance i have this prompt in here um she's watching a movie and talking and laughing let's see what guild to does google ai studio you're able to sort of like generate a number of videos and photos and stuff like that for free so it's also pretty neat like if you're an upcoming like developer like you're trying to like create a faces channel or you're trying to just test it out i think it's enough free credit to try out and see whether it's good for you or not okay so let's play with the sc this is pretty neat i like it high quality um sharp so what are my thoughts? What are my closing remarks? Um, I do think that Google indeed introduced a lot of functionality in here that I find, I think can be very useful for creators. And it's a step in the right direction. The future I like to see because I've used other AI platforms that allow you to do so much more. And I know that like, this is definitely a work in progress, but in future, I'd like to see like even the ability to do lick syncing, right? Because as a creator, you want one tool that can do end to end. You want a tool that can generate the images. And this one does it perfectly high quality um sometimes you may want to like generate consistent characters right okay it allows you to upload sample media so maybe you would be able to generate consistent characters let's see if i'm able to do that i'm just gonna try that and see uh, so this also allows you to generate consistent character that's pretty i think that the image generation game has definitely improved as you can see high quality images have been generated i was being able to like generate like a consistent character and the fact that this is free also scores a lot of points as well it gives you the flashlight to generate music as well but i'd want something similar to like Suno ai or top medi ai you know this one allows you to generate some sounds but i don't i'm not sure if you're able to generate music like that i'll be another additional feature i'd want to have as well okay so three main things i'd like to see in here as a creator or someone who uses a lot of ai tools the first thing would be the ability to generate music not just sound so things to know ai top medi ai all those music generator ai tools uh secondly i'd also like to see some form of lip sync and functionality because if you want to have like an end-to-end -end, um animated story or end-to-end -end animated video you'd want to have the ability to do some lip syncing so it'd be good to have all those personality inside Google AI to do as well. And then the last one has to be like the voice generation piece. So yes, you're able to like leverage other voices and stuff like that. But taking me to the next level, like what Eleven Labs has done, work like yeah, voice crooning, get voice changer functionality, and even get voice design functionality. I think that if you're able to have all those features in here in Google AI Studio, it's going to be a damn change. Okay, it's, it's going to win. I'm 100% I'm sure on that. So yeah, um, this has been very exciting playing around um, the new changes, the new tools, the new capabilities in, in Google AI Studio. It's fantastic. I'm able to create um, instant web apps without little coding experience uh so it's it's really good and i actually like the changes i hope you enjoyed this video as well um if you did enjoy this video then you'd like my other tutorial videos as well i'm gonna link them on the screen so that you can go check them out uh let me know what you think do you think that the google ai studio is impressive uh do you think that it's gonna help you get to where you want to get to as a creator as a business owner as a developer um let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then I would encourage you to do so. Um, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, all the good stuff. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.